What's up guys, Chris here from Vegas Prospect. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're an old hack, welcome back. Today I've got to try and beat the rain. Uh, we're currently in my kitchen and we've got to get to the creek. So we'll do that and then intro. Didn't even get my beard stuck in it this time. A little bit of a pro tip I can give you is to look out for this sort of stuff. This is flood debris. So we know that the water was up over the top of this log and this log is about as tall as me, about a foot shorter than me. So we know the water is way, way, way up here, which means that we'd have gold everywhere around here. I've 100% found my spot. We've got two big rocks here working just like a riffle in the center of the creek. There's a lot of big rocks jammed up underneath it. And you can see that sort of red tinge in the water that's going on there. Well, that's the ironstone rusting out. So there should be a good deposit. We'll do a test pan to confirm. And if we've got good gold, we'll set this loose up and dig like hell for a couple of hours or an hour or however long the rain stays away. We'll get some gold. Quarter of a one unclassified pan. I've got about 50 specks of gold in there off the top. So that's where we're working. Oh, that was work. Um, you can't always get it set up perfectly, but this time I feel like I've done a pretty good job. The area that I want to work here has a lot of red dirt in it all the way across. It even comes all the way over here. So I was originally going to dam this up, put the sluice there and work it. But then I found red dirt here, so I don't want to cover that up. Instead, I build a little sluice run down here. We can throw the dirt on it. All the tailings will go to a place that doesn't have any gold on it. Look how red that dirt is. It says to me that there's probably something iron in the ground very close by rusting out because ironstone doesn't normally turn that red in this creek. Um, it's a good indication that heavy things have dropped out. I don't know if the gold that I found in my test pan was just surface flood gold that had been laid in there underneath that little riffle rock that I started working or if it's a long-term deposit, something that's built up over time. I'm dealing with a really large boulder in that hole. So before I go too much further, I need answers to these questions. I'm gonna pull the sluice out, I'm gonna check how much gold I got, and then if there's good gold, we'll go back and work some more. I haven't washed it back yet. Check out how many shotgun pellets I've picked up. Look at them. There's probably 20 of them there. All right, let's see if there's any gold with it. Not that much, a little bit. Like, if I got that in one or two pans, I'd be happy. Not, not the amount of dirt that I sluiced. What that tells me is that that rock was working exactly like a riffle and the shotgun pellets that were being pushed down the stream because A, they're round so they move a little bit easier and B, they're lighter than gold, um, they, they're getting collected behind it means it's flood gold. So every time it's flooded and it's pushed a little bit of dirt down the stream, those shotgun pellets have collected up behind it and that's it. That, that's literally all that's catching there is flood gold. I um, 
I don't have enough time, I think, to fully move. What I might do is try and clear some rocks and just work that orange layer. If I can work the orange layer of clay, I think I will pick up a little bit of gold. And then hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll add at least a few more specks to that kitty. Slight change to the sluice setup. I had the sluice set up there. I've moved it across a little bit because, like I said, this is flood gold that I was working directly in behind where the sluice is now. And I think that because this is an inside bend here, you can see where the flood waters have come across after the last rains. This is where it's going to be slowing down. So I was in the main part of the stream, the main flow. If I push over this way and move these few rocks here, I may, just may, find some chunkier gold. I just dug this up. Grizzly, I just dug this up. It looks like a keystone. It's definitely been worked. Look how smooth that edge is. And it's very, very square. It's not, that's not natural. I wonder what that was part of. That's going to come home with me. That's a treasure. Oh, the bloody sluice moved on me. I dislodged a rock and everything went to hell. So we better see what's in it. <laughs> Well, I didn't do nearly as many shovels. I've probably done 15 or 20 max. And I got more gold than I got on the first run that I probably did oh, 20 or 30 shovels and less shotgun pellets. So this means that this is the load deposit over this side and that's the flood gold over that side. Um, I've got a little bit of time. I'll probably set the sluice up, do a third run. Let's do it. So, so many shovels. I probably did about 50 to 60. Um, I'm at a stage now where unless I put my whole upper body in to pull out some really big rocks, I can't get any further, so I'll have to wait till the water drops a little bit. Uh, right, let's get this dirt clean like that, and then we'll show you the gold like that. There we go. So one run, and we got some nice little bits of gold there. I'm gonna show you everything I got for today. Hang on a second. You know what? That's not that bad. For about an hour and a half's work, I actually found some alright gold. That's pretty good. And a lot of shotgun pellets, which is always nice to take them out of the environment. And they're a good indicator of gold, but a lot of shotgun pellets. Well, this weather front is moving in, it is getting really cold, and I am not staying warm, even though I'm covered in rubber and several layers of clothing, so I'm going to call it a day. I've got my gold. I've done very well, I think. I want to say a massive thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this one, it's likely that the others on my channel will be very enjoyable to your eyeballs as well. So give them a check out. A subscribe, like, and share also go a long way for helping me grow the channel bigger and better for you guys. I'm about to show you a beautiful picture of all the shiny gold I got today. Hope to catch you out here sometime. Peace, and I'm out. That I love you, mate.